Your attention please. All passengers for flight 643, destination Magic Music, immediate boarding at gate number 7. I'm DJ Tiesto from Holland and I travel all over the world DJing in clubs. I started off DJing uh, with, uh, at home, you know, I listened to the radio, because we had dance radio in uh, Holland. And uh, you heard these mixes from different kinds of records. And I was like, well, I want to do that as well. So I started practicing and then later on I had my own mobile show, a drive-in show. So I played for uh, school parties, exam parties. Uh, and after that I started playing in a club. The scene in, uh, in Holland is, is pretty good. They have lots of uh, big parties, like uh, for 40,000 people. Uh, open air parties in the summer and in the winter, indoor venues for 30,000 people. My new CD, In Search of Sunrise, has just uh, hit the markets. And uh, it's based on my uh, residency in Ibiza. And it's a party island where uh, people all, from all over the world come there to party for at least a week. The new CD is, is about that, that vibe on the island. Very laid back, but still full of energy. I recorded two videos. The first one was uh, Flight 643. That video was recorded in Israel, uh, where, I, where I used to play a lot. Uh, it's in, in the middle of the desert, between the mountains in Ayrat. And uh, it's, it's, it's very special for me to, to play there, because of the whole situation over there. People really like to party. And the second video uh, is uh, Little Industry. It's, been, it's recorded in Amsterdam, uh, where I did a nine-hour set in uh, the music hall in Amsterdam. Well, to play a nine-hour set, it's, it, it's, uh, it's killing you. I mean, it's, it's very long, but if the crowd is good, I mean, there were, there were like 6,000 people listening to my set. And it was also on the internet, so worldwide, I had many, many listeners. To break through as a DJ in, in, in the scene, in the music industry, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah, you have to have everything. You have, to, you have to have your own style, you have to create your own music, and you have to get the chance to perform on primetime uh, spots. I think producing is very important for a DJ, because if you don't produce your own records, you will never have your breakthrough. And I was lucky that I had I could remix uh, big artists like, like Moby and uh, Sarah Moroccan and Dave Matthews Band. That, that made me uh, bigger with a bigger audience, I think. DJing is all about timing. And you can't learn how to time records, or how to time a crowd. You have to feel when to play the right track in the right moment. And that's what makes you a special DJ. I feel I've been born like a DJ, you know, I've, I've always wanted to be a DJ and I show that I, I enjoy myself and I DJ and I give myself 100%. My big plan is to conquer the world as a DJ. I'm going to do another tour in October to, uh, through the States. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to produce a new artist album. The best advice what I can give to someone who wants to be a DJ is that if he, he really has to go for it 100%. I mean, he has to produce his own records, practice every day, uh, try to find a job in a, in a record store so he gets all the new, latest new music, gets out spinning as much as he can, make tapes, send them to everybody. I mean, it's, uh, it's a 24-hour day job almost. <laughs> there are lots of songs I would like to, like to remix from the past. Maybe you too, Where the Streets Have No Name. 
game follow a call. <laughs>